Hello everybody and welcome to my how to start your own money making blog video. In this tutorial you will learn step by step how to become a blogger. If you are serious and willing to put in the time, I promise that my tried and true methods will allow you to get the traffic and attention needed to make money from your blog over time. After completing my tutorial, you will be able to launch your blog with meaningful content along with your photos and videos. The best part is that you'll have multiple revenue streams paying you for discussing things that you love talking about. So if you're ready, let's get started. So how far do you think you can take this? I'm going to provide you with an easy step-by-step -step outline that is very simple to follow. I will break it down into five sections. I'll go in order of tasks and by the end you will have your blog up and running with no detail left out. I have done all of the hard work for you. Simply put, it works. My research along with all of my trial and error have enabled me to share with you only the things that you want and need to be successful. Sky's the limit. Before we go any further, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Keith. I'm semi-retired. I'm happily married and I'm the father of 18-month-old girl-boy twins and the stepfather to 11 and 13-year-old girls. I also have three grown children and four grandchildren from my first marriage. I've created a travel blog and as you'll see from the photographs throughout this tutorial, we love to travel every chance that we get. What better way to see the world than to go into an agreement with resorts, hotels, cruise lines and restaurants in exchange for us sharing our experience at their establishments. So together, we'll find what your niche is. In lesson number one, we will discuss picking a niche. The first question that you should ask yourself is what type of blog should you start? The best and most trusted blogs are those written by people that have an actual interest or a passion for the subject being discussed on the blog. For instance, ask yourself these questions when choosing a blog. What are my hobbies? What would I like to learn? Do I love to travel? What am I an expert in? Do I have any goals that I would like to accomplish? Let's keep in mind that I created this tutorial to share how I make money from my blog. To make sure you get going in the right direction, we need to talk about the money aspect at this point. We will get into the subject much deeper later on, but for now, we need to touch on this just for a second. Here are some of the most profitable niches for making money with your blog. Lifestyle, travel, health, weight loss, and fitness. Okay, so do you have any ideas yet? If you don't have a clear idea, then please stop now. You'll need to give this some deep thought. This is very important, so you don't want to rush this step. It's very important to get this step right, but don't let this decision cripple you either. Make a decision and go with it. Now let's go on to lesson number two. Next up, we'll be picking a blog name and setting the blog up. Now that you have a niche picked out, let's move on to the fun stuff. It's time to choose your site name and your domain name. A domain name is your address on the World Wide Web. It should be something you like and something that relates to your niche if possible, but it isn't necessary. If you are sure that you are going to write only about one subject, then by all means pick a domain name that is very specific to your niche. But if there is any chance that you want to add more topics later on, 
if you're not 100% sold on a specific niche, it might be in your best interest to use a broader URL that leaves it open for you to stretch your wings without having to start a whole new blog. Your URL can be changed later if you choose, but don't forget that it requires some time, energy, and work to do it. Stay away from obscene and questionable words and phrases with questionable meanings. The goal for this tutorial is to set you up to earn money with your blog. If you have a site name that is even slightly objectionable, then you will be passed over by potential sponsors and potential readers. I highly recommend that you choose a .com. These are still the standard. If your goal is to earn top income, try not to make it too narrow of a focus. You want to be able to write about whatever you want on your site. But if the domain name is too restrictive, then you will have issues down the road. So when choosing your domain URL, write a list out first of possibilities. And once you have created those, go to the link below to see if those are available. Don't actually register your name yet. We'll do that in the next step. If your name is currently taken, there's nothing you can do about it. Your best option is to get a little creative and look for synonyms of the words that you were going to use and see if they're available. You can put some careful thought into this, but don't let it paralyze you. Make a decision and move on. Coming up, you'll hear me talk about Bluehost. Bluehost is one of my affiliate links. That means that I earn revenue at no cost to you when you click through the links to set up your service. This helps me offset the cost of the free tutorial that I provide to you and allows me to better serve you. My blogs are hosted by Bluehost and I'm a big fan of their service. So now that you have your domain decided, it's time for us to go set up your site. Having your site self-hosted will cost a little bit of money. For my recommended provider Bluehost, that cost is $60 for the first year for the basic plan. This is a small price to pay to get your own business started. It's an investment that can pay off over and over again if you put the work in. This is the best deal out there right now and there is no legitimate host that have a better price. Bluehost is the largest WordPress hosting company out there and is trusted by millions of bloggers, including myself. This current deal, which is the best you will find anywhere, is as low as $2.75 per month, depending on the plan you choose. As you can see from the illustration, Bluehost has three plans to choose from, the Basic, the Plus, and the Choice Plus. If you're on a limited budget, the Basic plan should suit your needs just fine, but if you have a little bit extra to spend in your budget, the Choice Plus plan probably has the best value for the 36-month package. With that includes free domain privacy, free code guard basic, and spam experts. What's really cool about the Choice Plus plan is if you decide to run more than one blog, you can host it on your same Bluehost account for no additional cost. Of course, you would have to pay for your extra domain name, but that's about it. So you'll just click whatever you prefer and move on to the next step. The diagram that you're looking at now shows you um, the next step which is setting up your domain. It's pretty self-explanatory. You have two options here. You can create a new domain. If you do not already have your own domain for your blog yet, enter in your preferred domain name in the box and click next or you can use a domain you already own and if you already have a domain registered somewhere else 
then enter your domain name in the box and click next. So to create your domain account, you fill out a very simple form. And the next step would be for you to decide what package extras to go with. I highly recommend the domain privacy protection. After you have completed those steps, you are officially a blog owner, but we are not done yet. We still have some important next steps to go through. We will discuss how to get your blog set up and looking good. Up until now, you have decided on a niche, you have picked a domain name, and you've set up hosting for your blog site. Now I would like to give you a quick overview of WordPress. Like any other software program, it takes a little time to become an expert at WordPress. WordPress is a very straightforward software program that will start making sense for you very quickly. You will log into your WordPress dashboard by going to my.bluehost.com. Spend some time there clicking around to see the different sections. Now here are some really important sections which can be found along the left side menu. Posts, Pages, Appearance, and Settings. Spend some time familiarizing yourself with the WordPress dashboard. Don't worry, you can't break it, you can't delete it, you can't do any harm at all. Look through all of the sections first before you start making any changes. When you have a good level of familiarity, begin customizing your blog. Start in settings first, then move on to the appearance section. One of the most important things you can do as a blogger is to establish an email list right from the very start. Most established bloggers, including myself, always talk about how they wish they would have started their email list sooner. To make sure this doesn't happen to you, I have made it part of the blog setup process. I have an awesome email service called Constant Contact. Here is the link. They are one of the largest and best email service providers. They offer a 60 day free trial and there's no credit card needed. So it's a no brainer to get this started today. Now let's talk about how to choose a theme. A theme is a template used to make your WordPress site look a certain way. The beauty of WordPress is that the site can look any way you want it to. A theme helps you achieve the look you want by giving you the groundwork for your site. Themes can be found in your site by going to the appearance section. That's where you'll find a number of free themes that are included with all WordPress installations. Some of the themes listed are pretty good, and it may be good enough for you to start your website. You can preview the themes and you can also activate the themes there. The downside of free themes is that everyone that installs WordPress has access to the same themes. There may be many themes out there that look exactly like yours. Also, free themes are generally limited in their features. So you have a choice. You can either begin with a free theme already loaded on your dashboard, or you can purchase a custom theme. But whatever you decide, don't let the decision hold you back from moving forward. It is definitely okay to start with a free theme, and then you can always change it later on. The next task that we need to tackle is getting your logo order started. A logo can be something that's very basic or it can be a little bit more complex. 
but what it should do is convey the feel of your site to your visitors and it should be professional. There are many places to get a logo created for you on the internet. Probably the cheapest place to go would be Fiverr. I've used them on many occasions for many different things. There are many logo providers there that will get you a logo for as little as $5. The fee varies based on the designer's experience and how fast you need it. Look around, read the feedback, and see if the designer creates logos with the feel that you are looking for. Some people also create their own logos for free. There is a free design website called Canva that is great for simple designs. On to lesson number four. You're going to be creating some social media accounts and writing some content with photos. So by now, hopefully you've set up a WordPress blog site, you set up an email list, you've picked a theme, and you've gotten your logo started. If not, you need to get those things going now before we continue on. Writing your blog can be fun and rewarding if you choose a niche that interests you. Don't worry too much about being perfect from the start because believe me, it won't happen. It takes time and practice to get really good at something. So the quickest way to get there is to simply get started. Write your About Me page and your first blog post. Your About Me page should be an easy one. Everyone loves talking or, in this case, writing about themselves. Tell everyone who you are and why you're writing this blog. If you have a particular background which qualifies you to be an expert on the subject, the place to toot your own on is right here. Make sure you explain why you are doing this blog and also what makes you unique. I promise that you'll build an awesome audience by letting your personality shine through. Facts can be found anywhere, but presenting the information in an entertaining and informative way is harder to find. As a blogger, your challenge is always to look at something from the reader's perspective. Things like, what would they like to know? How can I deliver information or value? If you do this well, your following will grow quickly. And if you do a poor job at this, you will always struggle. The important step that we need to cover now is building your social media profiles. Social media accounts play an important role in creating exposure for you and your blog content. In fact, some sponsors are paying for posts on your social media accounts if you can get a good following. Here are the main social networks that are out there today that you'll want to incorporate. Facebook page, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. Twitter and Instagram may be the easiest to use your personal accounts that you already have set up instead of starting from scratch. If this is the case, make sure you update your profile to link to your blog domain name. It is also a good idea to do some new posts that tell everyone about your new blog and link them to your site. Your friends and family will most likely be the first readers and many will happily share your content with their friends. For your Facebook page, try to use the same name as your site. If that is not available, then try picking something that is as close as possible. When that page is set up, share it with your personal profile and invite your friends and family to like your page. Again, tell everyone about your new blog and many will be interested in following you over there. The same goes for your Pinterest. Try to create a username that is as close as possible to your blog name. For most of the social profiles, you'll need to upload some graphics and profile pictures. This is really easy. 
Just upload a quality photo for now on each. You can customize these later or when you find time. After you are done creating these accounts, we can talk about making money with your blog. Lesson number five, making money with your blog. Now a blog is a business and it could also be a money making machine if you put the work into it and set it up properly. So by now you should have set up your WordPress site, set up your email, pick the theme, you should have a logo, you should have written your about me page, you should have written your first post and you should be on your way to creating some social media profiles. How much money can you make with your blog? Many blogs have been easily averaging about $30,000 a month in monthly income. This figure can grow over the years to a very substantial level. I wish that I could say it happens overnight, but it is a process that takes a lot of hard work and dedication. This amount is great, but there are bloggers that are making much, much more than that. As a new blogger, you will have to take some specific steps in order to start making money with your blog. The first thing you need to do is to have your site completed with enough content that will make it look respectable. I always say that you should have 10 to 20 posts written on a site for it to be considered complete. Until you have this many posts, I would refrain from sharing all your posts. It is still important to publish your posts as soon as they are completed. You just won't start actively sharing about them yet on social media. This may mean some long nights, but if you focus, you can get these posts done so your site looks like it is complete. Many bloggers will write 5 to 20 new posts a month or more. These days, it's all about quality rather than quantity. But to really stand out, you need both, at least at first. When you have an expansive library of posts already completed on your site, you can begin scaling back the quantity of posts each month. Here is a quick glance at how bloggers make money. They use sponsored posts and they can also gain affiliate income. There are also sponsored social posts and content creation on other sites. The easiest way to begin monetizing your blog is probably to begin with sponsored content. As you get established and increase your following, you can get paid $1,000 per blog post. But for now, let's take baby steps. Affiliate marketing is an area that you can begin to look at right away after your site is complete. There are many different affiliate networks out there. They all have different specialties and depending on your niche, that will probably determine which ones you may want to sign up for. Joining the Amazon Associates program is one popular way to monetize your blog with affiliate links. You write a blog post about something that you found on Amazon and link to it. If a reader clicks through to Amazon and buys that product, or anything else for that matter, Amazon will pay you a commission. I can now say that I have given you everything that you need to become a successful blogger. It's all up to you now. You know what they say. You get out of it what you put into it. To receive future free tutorial notifications, please hit the subscribe now button. 
I'd like to thank you for your interest, time, and attention. Happy blogging, and please let me know how it's going. Congratulations.